Sit in the kitchen with Z officially. Y'all know I'm always in the kitchen doing little combos, mixing things, whatever have you. I love to cook. So here we are. We are going to be trying some Tony, Tony jambalaya rice and some chicken strips with some sauteed green peppers. We're going to be using this seasoning. I haven't tried this seasoning before, so we're going to see if it's good or not. Um, yeah, I've had this brand, and I love certain things with this brand, but I'm not sure, so I will let y'all know. Stay tuned, y'all. have our water boiling I'm about to add our um, rice in shortly and yeah let me start seasoning my chicken strips we're gonna use Tony why not season it with the Tony seasoning and a little bit of paprika and we're gonna open some of this and pour it over onto this plate Y'all, this is on clearance for 75 cents, so I'm like, why not try it? And I'm not sure if I've ever tried this rice before, and I think I've wanted to, so I was like, let me let me see. Because the Zatarain's jambalaya rice, I do not like, y'all. I don't recommend it. It just, it's not good. I was very disappointed. But they do have this dirty rice at all these y'all, and it is so good. I'm going to have to cook that one day and um, show y'all. It's so good. always smell stuff oh it smells good y'all so hopefully okay gonna add it in i'm also gonna turn it up cook with nitrous so it can cook faster and nobody trying to be waiting on the rice to cook all night if you're wondering why I don't have that much water, it's because when I do seasoned rice, I don't put a lot of water in it. Because sometimes if you put too much water, you can take away from the flavor. So I just add as I go later on. And when it's closer to being done, I taste it and see like if it's too salty or if it's not salty enough. And I'll go from there. So yeah, that's just something I've learned and consumed from cooking. It's better to just add as you go. Personal preference, of course. But hey, that's how I cook my seasoned rice anyways. I'm also going to add some onion seasoning to my chicken strips. I was going to add some garlic, but just add a little bit of onion. And that should do the trick. Because I don't want to over season chicken tenders. Chicken tenders are so easy to over season, so try to make sure I do light strokes. I don't want no saucy chicken strips. 
but I don't want them to be under flavored either. Y'all know what I mean. My cooker's out there. If you know, you know. And that should be good. y'all the first batch is ready to be applied the so oil should be pretty hot yeah so we're gonna go ahead and add it yeah i don't know what i was just about to say it should be doing a little bit more sizzling than that but that's fine so you won't get popped I know I'm going to put it at like a medium high. Alright, I'm about to do the second batch off camera and I will see y'all in a minute. First batch, I flipped them. So, yep. While the second batch is waiting and I'm cleaning up over here. Clean as y'all go, y'all. That's what the rice looking like. It's hot, y'all. That's why I had her put it down. I need to grab my towel next time I lift it up. But, yeah. I'm gonna do some extra crispy and some regular. Let me see if I take this one out. Let me see if I can join this one. Join your sibling, boo. I hope y'all can see because of the fog. But yeah, I'll show y'all the end result. Almost done. I'm about to cook another side, our veggie side, and I'll be done. Pretty much done. All I have to do is saute these bad babies up. And then I'm good. are the seasonings I put on the bell peppers and I want to add some of these I'm trying to see if I want to have like a sweet like taste if so I will add some honey but I'm gonna keep y'all updated and I'll let y'all know and yeah y'all we pretty much done it's not gonna take these long to do and I like mine to still have that crunchy like consistency to them so texture y'all know and that's our rice the aftermath are our chicken tenders. I did some like the golden brown and some crispier than others. So yeah. And y'all, it don't take, some people, I know some people, everybody don't like to cook, but it really don't take that long to cook, y'all. Like I started, this whole process took me maybe about 35 to 40 minutes and I'm filming everything. So you know, that's a little time consuming. So that added maybe about 10 more minutes than it would have. So yeah, y'all. Voila, we are done. Hey Alexa, pause. Yes, honey. The um bell peppers came out really good. I decided to put a little bit of honey in there. So it got that nice, good, sweet taste to them. The rice, I didn't add anything to. I just did the natural seasoning. And it's okay. You can add your own seasonings that make it pop or put less water. But y'all know I'm not trying to overdo the seasonings. 
And um, yeah, I'm about to taste this and tell y'all what I think of the um, mix that I use this time. And yeah, I probably won't even eat. Or I'm probably gonna put one of the chicken tenders back, y'all. I may be thick, but I eat. I do portion control, and I'm actually not that much of an eater. I don't overeat. Let me just say that I eat until I'm content. I don't like the feeling of being full. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Look, I was trying to find a good spot. Like, where to put y'all? I'm like, what in the world? Okay. I don't know if I want to try the golden one or do I want to try the extra crispy one? Hmm. Okay. It still don't top. It's another one of theirs. It's so good. I'm, the lemon pepper one, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. The lemon pepper one is so freaking good. It still don't top that one, but it's really good. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Okay. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to have to, um, I may want some hot sauce or something on me. Y'all know I'm so issue. Y'all know I'm a sauce girl. But anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in my next video. Later, y'all.